Well, I'm here in Paris using a Google Glass for the very first time and I have to say that they're surprisingly light and comfortable. I'm uh, walking around and uh, I can see very clearly uh, all kinds of information. Just if I look to the, just to the top right hand corner of my vision, um, and then uh, all kinds of things are revealed to me, whether it's mapping, whether it's email. So here is Google Glass close up and you can see, if I turn this very carefully, that there's a quite a big piece of glass within Google Glass which has a, a uh, refractive lens in it and that projects the image onto the eye but it's quite bulky, it's quite thick and the glass construction is quite big because it contains not only a processor but also memory and of course a battery now despite the quite big size of it, as you might expect battery life is limited, in fact to around two hours. The big challenge is what are the reactions of other people going to be as I do this uh, from other people in the same restaurant who may think that I'm filming them or even transmitting the sound of what they're saying without their permission. Uh, all kinds of challenges in terms of wider privacy in a world where we've seen that countries like the United States have been running prison programs sucking up all kinds of data about people. Could this be the next revolution? Might it be possible, for instance, to hack these kinds of phones, or glasses rather, so that you can transmit information from the wearer even when the wearer thinks that they've turned their device off. Now, although that might seem science fiction, that's already been happening with desktop cameras uh, on, on the portable PCs and things like that. So, watch out. It's an interesting world. I would say that most people I speak to in most conferences in 2014 have completely rejected this technology. They're saying that they do not want to wear Google Glass under any circumstances. They don't think it's cool, they think it's invasive, they think it's intrusive, and they don't like it at all. I think it makes more sense for people like me who wear glasses anyway, for whom it just may be an extra piece of clip-on on the side of, a, of uh, a piece of technology which is actually quite last century when you think about it. So. We'll see what happens, we'll see what the customer acceptance is more widely, uh, uh, but I suspect that these won't become very acceptable until the technology gets much smaller and that the simplest way to make it much more acceptable would be to remove the camera altogether. So that what's happening is it's being used mainly as a method of transmitting data to the user.